Hi, welcome to uh, Women in Midlife. I'm Karen. Thank you for coming to my channel uh, where we are going to talk about uh, anything and everything that pertains to women over 50s. So uh, stick around and we'll be back. Hi, welcome to Women in Midlife. Uh, Karen here, and I wanted to just recap what we spoke about not too long ago uh, with, uh, with, with the chat between Elaine and Jane and myself about how diet is important and how it can help with women going through perimenopause and menopause, the progression. But not just only that, but it's also for how what we put in our bodies can change the way we feel, the way our physical looks, and just the general well-being of our health. Uh, one of the things that they brought up is that um, we don't need to have expensive uh, quinoas and, and brown rice and avocado per se to start. For most people, it's just having control over your portion and reducing that portion or increasing certain portions like your vegetable and legumes, uh, reducing your white ingredients like your white rice, white flour, and uh, just in slowly increasing better uh, products, uh, nutrition into your diet. Um, you know, eventually that apparently will even give you up to 60% improvement over a short period of time. And plant-based is one of those easy to adopt kind of diet. And it's just making sure that you don't have too much fat. You still need good fat like olive oil and avocado oil. What's and, uh, and But we, we don't want the... Uh, we want to cut away processed food. So uh, going on your daily Kentucky Fried Chicken or McDonald run is really not a good idea. And you want to instill better eating habits for your children and even for your elderly parents. Now, all these are part and parcel so that when you, you, you may not feel it now because you may not have your illness yet, but you don't want to wait until you're too sick or to uh, or, or fourth stage cancer before you make the right changes. Uh, we should live very uh, moderately in terms of what the food that we eat. Let's not overindulge with all red meat or the best high quality food. But sometimes taking humble food can help. And um, you know the occasional indulgence is not wrong and it is is okay because you you have cravings and you need to indulge yourself occasionally as well so uh look at the video of the link above for the um uh for the conversation that we had not too long ago and uh make sure that you start small baby steps baby steps will get you there promise you that but live your best life now. Thanks.